This is Deraya, just outside Damascus. Government forces regained control here two years ago, but rebel snipers reportedly still operate from inside these buildings. It's not a place you'd want to linger. A plane passes overhead. We can't be sure whether this particular jet was Russian, but the officer accompanying us is keen to express his gratitude anyway. I'm really happy the Russians are helping us. They're the only ones who are truly honest with us. When they say they'll do something, they do it. We head north towards Latakia, 300 kilometers away on the Mediterranean coast. We pass a convoy of Russian military trucks on the way. Moscow has refurbished an old airfield in this port city. It's now serving as Russia's main Syrian base. Five checkpoints around the entrance, which we're not allowed to film. In fact, the only things the TV cameras are allowed to film from inside the base are the Sukhoi fighter jets taking off and landing. Officially, 2,000 Russian soldiers are deployed here. They're often to be seen outside the base, at kebab shops, for example, or in the historic center of Latakia. The group agrees to chat, and we leave the camera running. These men are from a group of military instructors sent from Moscow to train the Syrians. But the Russian presence is not limited to training. They won't give any further details other than to note how welcome they feel here in Syria. That seems true enough. At this market, they could even buy underwear emblazoned with the Russian two-headed eagle. Yes, shukran. Shukran Russia. Shukran Syrian. Shukran Kallas the population, exhausted by four years of war, hopes only for a swift resolution. Meanwhile, the Russian airstrikes will continue, as Vladimir Putin confirmed to Bashar al-Assad this week in person. <laughs>